It's the Black Real Estate Dialogue. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. So this market is crazy everywhere, all over the country. Uh, and as you mentioned, it, it, it has become a bit more difficult in some cases to find deals. Um, is there one strategy that has worked pretty well in terms of uh, finding deals for you? Mm-hmm. Good question. Yeah. So yeah, so pretty much, I mean, it's honestly, it's, it's cast a wide net. It yeah. really is cast a wide net, right? So, you know, we're constantly calling brokers uh, in the city and checking in to see if they have anything that's available. Um, even though we're, you know, still a relatively small fish, uh, you know, those relationships can go far, right? So we're like some smaller deals that uh, they may may have like as pocket deals, they can just actually shoot out to you first. So it's kind of like being in the right place at the right time, right? So really through that, through partnerships, uh, we're doing direct marketing campaigns uh, where we're chasing leads. Uh, so take it more so like a wholesale approach to where maybe it may make sense to sell some properties, some properties you may end up keeping in the portfolio. Um, so we're branching out there, um, working with wholesalers. Uh, we're still looking at auctions, um, tax liens, even, um, you know, tax liens where we've also been working with tax liens. So really, uh, any way that we can source property, um, you know, we're, we'll, we'll chase that down or we'll form a strategic partnership in which way we can form a mutually beneficial, uh, agreement relationship to kind of help our goal, get to our goals and, you know, help someone else get there. So Definitely. That's, that's your deal finding masterclass right there. So can you talk more about um, just over the years, what you two have seen in the market and reasons why someone should consider investing there if, if they're looking for a city to invest in? Definitely, definitely. So, I mean, honest, so, all right. So yeah, Baltimore get a lot of bad, bad press, right? And I mean, for to an extent, you know, just like a lot of urban areas, a lot of cities, um, there's, there's commonalities, right? So I mean, in crime in particular, right? So there are areas that are more dangerous and there are areas that are less dangerous, right? The entire city isn't getting burned down and, and raised or, you know, is where this is, is extremely, um, yeah. So there's over, literally over a hundred, I'm sorry, over 300 neighborhoods, 200 neighborhoods. 278. 278. <laughs> 278 neighborhoods of Baltimore, right? So there's, you can invest in areas that are, that, that are, you know, there may be a little bit safer. They may be more appealing to a certain type of renter. Although, you know, investing in a hood, you know, those are going to yield higher returns as long as you can build the systems and you can kind of capitalize on it. Right. So you want to make sure that um, I mean, we've like one thing that we've done is we partner with nonprofit organizations that actually go out, raise money, get grants. And they actually house 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 um, people that are either returning addicts or that are um, maybe, uh, you know, battered women abuse programs. Um, you can partner with these different programs and they will actually rent the building out, right? So there's a lot of people that are from the hood, they live in the hood, right? And, you know, they're, they, that's where they're going to live, right? So even in Baltimore, especially, uh, it's majority renters. So it's just the perfect market if you want to look for a rental property that, you know, hasn't appreciated through the roof. You can still get, you know, sizable returns uh, and, you know, make, a, and on top of that, you get to make a, 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 a you get to help make the community better as well, right? Because most of the people, um, most of the people of Baltimore are uh, African American, right? So they're black. So you know they look like me and you. So you know not only that, most of our tenants look just like us, right? So it's just amazing that you know we can provide quality housing for people who look like us, and you know and still win, right? Genuine, still genuine that value add, right? So yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And it's, I mean, it's definitely been a ton of development. Um, there's a lot of different events that have been coming to Baltimore city and it, like, even just since we last spoke, right? Like it's been so many things that have changed. Um, and you could just ride, ride around the city and, you know, East side, West side, like, you know, South of Baltimore, like it, you see development literally happening, happening everywhere. Um, and the cool thing about Baltimore city too, is that, you know, you know, people look at the word gentrification and they think of it as like a scary thing. And gentrification is not necessarily bad if you're not pushing people out. So in a city like Baltimore, you can develop the city, you can add resources, and you don't have to worry about pushing people out because most likely the person, they're going to be Black people, right? And for us, that's like something that's really important too, to give back to people who look like us. Obviously, you know, everybody can can take part in it, but in a city where, you know, it's two-thirds Black, I mean, 
you know, it's kind of like a win-win where we can kind of help add those resources, make people proud of the community. Um, Cause even, you know, our most recent project that we did, uh, which is located out in West Baltimore. I mean, the neighborhood association was just happy that, you know, we were doing work on the house because it was an <laughs> eyesore. So it's like, you know, you don't see that stuff until a lot of times like somebody else from the outside kind of comes in and say, hey, like, you know, I really appreciate that you guys are actually like doing this. So, you know, that that's something that's like a plus. Right? So look at areas where you can give back, um, you know, increase in home ownership is also something that's really important as well. Um, so in a lot of our in the flips that we've done, um, it's first time home buyers and they look like us, you know, so that also kind of like gives joy, it gives us joy as well. So Again, it may not be, you know, in a neighborhood or it may not be, you know, million dollar listings, but, you yeah. know, it's a lot of times it's people who are moving into maybe a B or C neighborhood, but, you know, in five, 10, 15 years, that neighborhood could potentially become a B plus, A minus neighborhood and people who have a vision understand that. Um, so that that's kind of just something to keep in mind. Like Baltimore is not some like a, a scary place, you know, like a lot of times we walk around and we feel safe. Again, as you mentioned, there are obviously areas that you kind of want to, you know, make sure you're really, really paying attention. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's safe. People say hello all the time. You know, people show love. People are great. People are great. People are amazing. Food's there. great. The food, yeah, if you love food, Baltimore is also a really great place for food. We have a ton of restaurants. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely a really great place to, uh, to not even just invest in, but even just to live, to visit, to see, you know. Uh, which is the, the 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 basketball tournament? They left Charlotte and now it's, it's in Baltimore City. So it's like you know, it's a ton of things that are happening, and I think people are starting to slowly but surely kind of see it. Um, you know, but it's it's just taking some time because people always look at the, the bad apple, right? The bad apple always spoils the bunch. But when you really like take a deep dive, you really understand why you know mm -hmm. Baltimore is called Charm City. Definitely, I love I love that, and you know, it, it just it just can be disheartening sometimes to, to hear people, um, especially those who look like us, talking about certain cities. Like I remember someone a couple of years ago, I was like, yeah, you know, I got guests, um, you know, they're investing in Baltimore, like the city's coming up, all these things. They're like, why would I invest in Baltimore? Baltimore? Why would I invest some, somewhere where, my, where, what I'm, where what I have wouldn't be worth anything? In my mind, I'm like, I didn't get into back and forth. In my mind, I'm like, if you only knew, if you only knew. <laughs> Like if you only knew, and it's like, you know, that's probably lack of information and not, you know, just assumptions, right? You're going off the press, but it's like, there are people on the ground doing it and, and helping the community and making money. And, and you know, the news tells a certain part, right? Um, mm -hmm. Like you said, every city has places where you would want to be, places where you would not want to be. It's just, that's just the world, right? That's just, it's not, right. a, it's not a black thing. It's not a black no city thing it's just a city thing you know what i'm saying so yeah. i'm glad that um you two are, are here to tell the truth because you know y'all are on the ground right y'all see it every day and yeah you know you've been you've been doing it for for years so you know i'm, I'm glad that perspective is out there definitely definitely yeah man it's definitely you know good for us to try to like you said share our experience because you know we do we hear that a lot right you know we got we got friends and family that when we first started you know tell like yeah, we're so we're invested in Baltimore, right? It would like give us this look like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, they're no, like, what property? You know? <laughs> we we are yeah, like, in it now. Now. So we committed. So it was, you know, we, we we come across those experiences a lot, but you know, you don't know what you don't know, right? But man, there's hey man, there's there's millions to be made in Baltimore. Um, and there's literally since the city's in transition, we're in a time right now to where there's a lot of uh, a lot of properties that you can actually go after right so it's it, it's a good time right now right so like if you know if you haven't checked out baltimore um maybe book a trip out right come out um check out terra cafe uh and, and you know hit us up hit us up actually that'd be even better we can kind of give you you know some some more local spots that we always check out but definitely check out terra cafe uh really cool brother um great food uh caribbean food uh but yeah man so it's you know yeah. Yeah. Baltimore is great. It's yeah, great. yeah. It's yeah. been amazing, man. Our, you know, our experience, we're not from Baltimore, but, you know, moving to Baltimore, we fell in love. Mm -hmm. And it was literally like, you know, the people are cool. The food's great. Um, the architecture of the buildings itself. Uh, the fact that there's tons of multifamily. So, you know, if you're looking at do multifamily investments, you got a ton of options. Um, things kind of really came together. And then over time, you know, we, we 
grew to love the city. So, yeah, man. Hi, everyone. Sam here from Black Real Estate Dialogue. Make sure to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button and to visit us at blackrealestatedialogue.com.